Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Laurentia Monet, and today I'll be showing y'all how I did this, how I installed my frontal wig. So today I am using hair from Yolissa Hair. This is a 30 inch body wave wig, 250 density, and a medium cap, and I will leave all the details for it down below. First things first, I will be water dyeing this wig jet black. So in order to prepare the wig for that, we're going to spray the lace with some got to be free spray. And this is just going to protect that lace so that it doesn't get dyed that jet black color. And I promise y'all it's not going to die. You're going to see later on, I look a little scared to do it because I've never tried this before, but I promise it works. So I just did two or three layers of that. Here I'm taking the Adore Royal Navy and the Kiss Jet Black and I will be mixing those into a pot of hot water and this is going to get that jet black color. I got this from Slay by Jordan in his jet black video and y'all it really does get the hair like that real jet black color. And if y'all do this I promise you will not be disappointed because it made my hair look so nice. So I just let it sit in that for 10 minutes and I washed it out with cool water and as you guys see the lace is not dyed black at all now it's time to bleach those knots so we can really get that scalp effect so i already have a video showing how i bleach knots and if you want to know specifically how i do that you can go back on my channel and check that out only thing different that i'm doing is i'm flipping the wig inside out instead of doing it on the wig head and this is because i always get bleach on the roots of the hair so now what I do is I just flip it inside out spread the bleach on like that and you're gonna see me flip it right side out and I'm gonna comb those hairs that are stuck in the bleach out so that I do not have to go through that extra step of making those roots that jet black color or match the hair color because that's a tedious step so this just cancels that out and makes it so much easier Now let's start these steps to installing the wig, but before we can actually install the wig, we have to do the ball cap method. So right now you just see me cutting a hole around my ear so that that cap can stretch and really lay down the proper way. So once we have those holes cut, we are going to take our got to be free spray and just spray where our hairline is. And after that's done, we're just gonna blow dry it and then we're gonna snip it off. Okay, let me give my disclaimer right here. So I have a very low hairline, like my 
baby hairs be touching my eyebrows so whenever I usually put on wigs I always have like some of those baby hairs out but it's crazy because right after I did this video I saw a TikTok of a girl who has the same problem and she showed how she did it which is crazy so next time I put on a wig I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna show y'all how that comes out but anyways you're gonna see on the other side I kind of pulled the cat back a little too far back and y'all are gonna see me make some faces but that's because I'm still nervous on camera so I was feeling like I had to make this perfect but it's okay because it still came out really nice and it still looked like stout so I made it work period my bold hold active and this is just going to seal down those ends of the cap so that we can really be bald. This is in C7, I believe, C7 or C8. And what I'm doing is putting that on the lace so that it can really melt. I prefer using makeup over lace tint because I just really feel like it really matches my skin tone better. I try using the even lace tint and it's nice, but I just feel like makeup or some powder makeup and sealing it in with that got to be free spray is just untouchable. Now L'Oreal True Match is nice, don't get me wrong, but I'm waiting to get my hands on some of the Ruby Kisses Creamy Concealer because that's what I see a lot of people using and it looks like it works really well. But anyways, now I am using a different color on my actual cap. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and it is in Cocoa and I'm just putting that all on my cap. After applying that LA Girl, I am clearing my forehead off with some 91% rubbing alcohol. Please make sure you get 91%. And I also use a skin protectant. Personally, I do see a difference. I have really sensitive skin, so this step is very necessary for me. You don't have to, but I just suggest it.
now that the ball cap method is done we have the wig on and first things first we are going to cut those ear tabs off so all I do is when the wig is on I hold that lace down and just part right above my ear and you're going to see me use my eyebrow scissors and very carefully cut where that line is while I'm cutting I also do kind of feel and look to make sure I'm getting right above my ear not too high not too close if anything I'd rather cut further down and snip it up than cut too much because then that's just going to throw the whole lace look off. But once I do one side, I just repeat the same to the other. Now you see me peeling my lace back because now it is time to glue this baby down. So I'm taking that bold hole active and I am just putting that right in front of where my ball cap is starting. I typically use about three layers, two or three layers and I don't blow dry it. I always let my layers um, air dry just because I feel like when I blow dry it I kind of rush it and it'll be like kind of white. I don't know just for me personally and I've seen other people do it I prefer to let my layers air dry in between so two things to remember when you are applying your glue please please use thin layers do not use thick layers I know sometimes we'll think the more glue the better but that's what layers are for if you do thick layers you're gonna be able to see those clumps through the lace and we don't want to see that the second suggestion that I have is please, please, please make sure that you let those layers dry clear. You do not want to see any white because if you see any white, you will also see that through the lace. So now here we are three layers of glue later so now you see I am carefully and slowly pulling that frontal down on top of that glue and I make sure to do this carefully because you don't want to place the hairline too far back and have a whole bunch of lace or have it too far forward and what I am doing now is just taking a comb and using that to really comb that lace into the glue and help apply that pressure to really try to help and mend that lace into that glue. Here you see me tying my hair up because now it is time to apply that elastic band because we need that pressure. All right, we need that pressure to really, really help mend that lace and that glue together. All right, they should become one at this stage. So after I put the elastic band on, I am going to blow dry my hair on hot and cool, okay? I got this tip from Tay in his little master class, you know. Shout out to Eric and Tay. But you want to blow dry between hot and cold because hot is what is really going to help it melt and cool is what's really going to seal it so i go back and forth a few times but i always make sure to end on the cool setting so that that's really locking that glue in A 
about 10 to 15 minutes later after blow drying we are here and it is time to cut that lace so i use an eyebrow razor to cut that lace off and i really like using this because it really helps get that rugged effect now you need that rugged effect please do not try to cut in a straight line the eyebrow razor will get it nice and messy just how you need it no matter how much you melt that lace if you cut it in a straight line we will be able to see that lace okay when you cut in a rugged line i don't know what scientifically happens but that makes that lace really really melt so please please use an eyebrow razor or if you're using scissors make sure you cut in a zigzag motion cut off so I'm going back in with that LA girl powder foundation and I'm using that on the lace because this is going to really help it melt into my skin color so I know it looks a little light on camera y'all probably think I'm crazy but this is one of those times you just have to trust the process and know it's going to look good in the end so after I have that makeup applied I'm going to part out what I want to be my baby hairs <music> After we have those baby hairs parted out, I just go back in with my tweezers and pluck that hairline a little bit more just to help it thin out a little bit. I don't know, but it did make a difference. Now this is my favorite part. This is when that lace really becomes your scalp. So I use the ORS Super Hold Spray and y'all let me tell you, 
this works so much better than the got to be free spray i don't know what it is but y'all are gonna see when i show y'all what it looks like in the end if y'all want me to do a comparison with this versus the got to be just to show y'all the difference i'll do that so leave a comment below if that's what y'all want but please get y'all some of this because it really just helps to really melt that lace like for real so after i spray that as you see i sprayed it on my hairline so in the front end in between the baby hairs and those scalps since behind those baby hairs is what is going to be showing so i just tie my elastic band back on and i blow dry it for about five or ten minutes because it's just going to really sit on there while i go in and hot comb my hair are 10 minutes later and boom look at that y'all it just looks so good like that's what i meant by trust the process because i know y'all probably was thinking that makeup was too light but as y'all see it worked out like look at that it just looks so good so now what i'm doing is just combing out that hairline because that spray can get it a little hard but that's nothing that your comb can't just undo so now it's time for my least favorite part which is the baby hairs because no matter how hard i try to do baby hairs y'all i'm just too technical and too much of a perfectionist and i can't get it like y'all see me struggling with this eyebrow razor trying to comb or trying to cut them baby hairs and it just was not working so i just went with what i usually do which is using my eyebrows scissors and i just use that because that's all i know how to do Another thing that I learned from Tay's masterclass is using these like half inch mini flat irons to curl the baby hair before you actually do it. Because if you think about it, the baby hair is just like a curl or a swoop, right? So what this is doing is already making that formation. So all you really have to do is lay it down. Somehow I still found a way to complicate it, but it did make this process so much easier for me. So I definitely do suggest this. Also, y'all see, I don't use mousse. If you use mousse, you have to know what you're doing because if you take your time with mousse, your lace will lift back up. And that happened to me so many times. So that's why I just use the got to be gel because that's all I can use. And yeah, I know it makes the baby hairs hard, but that's all I can use, y'all, until I'm able enough to just use mousse.
is after configuring with my baby hairs i finally figured something out and here we are lace is laid baby hairs are laid that lace is melted and the wig is just looking so good so with all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and give me some comments give me some feedback about the hair how you guys think i did or any future videos you all may want from me thank you all for watching and i will see you next time bye